Hello everyone and welcome to the series about IPython Notebook. This is part 6 and it's about IPython widgets. Uh, IPython pro uh, Notebook provides a variety of uh, web widgets that can interact with the Python code from the web browser. Um, so um, we'll be talking about IPython which is uh, part of a bigger uh, ecosystem, uh, the SciPy um, ecosystem of uh, libraries uh, for science, engineering and mathematics. So let's start by importing our libraries. I'll be importing NumPy as MP and PyPlot as PLT. And I will be importing three more things for widgets. I will be importing IPython.html. Um, from there, I'll be importing widgets. And I will be importing interact from IPython.html.widgets. And finally, I'll be importing display from IPython.display. Um, let's take a look at uh, the built-in uh, widgets. Uh, this code generates um, uh, an actual uh, widget that shows um, most of the available widgets within. Uh, sorry, I forgot to execute the first one. So um, uh, to execute any cell, it's um, hit uh, shift and enter. Um, so I'll execute that again. Yeah, and I get this um, accordion uh, widget. Uh, we can um, explore our basic widgets in here. Uh, button, checkbox, a drop down uh, menu, a radio, um, bo radio buttons, select, um, a text box or a multi line text box, um, a toggle button that will save its status, and uh, multi um, value um, toggle buttons. So you can have multiple values in here and you can choose one of them through the toggle buttons. Uh, the second one is um, the second group is um, number input. We have a bounded uh, float text, so it will take any numbers between zero and one hundred, and that's customizable. And it will take any uh, float values in here, too. Um, this will take only integer uh, numbers between zero and one hundred. The good thing about them, you, the user cannot make a mistake. So if someone types any wrong input, it will just clear it out. And if someone types a number that's greater than 100 or your whatever your maximum is, it will trim it back to the maximum. We have a um, float slider widget that will this will generate float numbers between any desired two numbers. By default, it's uh, 0 to 100. Then we have a float text box. This will take any number. It doesn't have uh, a maximum or minimum. Um, this is an integer slider. Um, and it will uh, generate numbers between 0 and uh, 100, and there will be integer numbers. Um, finally, I have uh, integer text box, and I ca can type any integer number. If I type anything wrong, it will trim that out. Um, finally, we have output um, widgets. We have a um, latex um, widget that uh, displays um, latex uh, code, and we have an HTML widget that displays HTML code. So a simple example, uh, we'll take the factorial uh, function in here. So we'll define the factorial function. Um, uh, a factorial function uh, takes a number and multiplies it by, um, um, so x will be multiplied by x uh, minus 1 uh, times x minus 2 until 1. So a factorial of 3 will be 3 times 2 times 1 equals 6. And factorial of 5 will be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That's 120. Um, so, I'm um, defining my factorial function in here. Uh, it will take x and it will print um, the original number equals then the factorial. Um, we're calculating the factorial using numpy, so mp.math.factorial of x and it will return um, our um, number in here. Um, I wrote this uh, function. If you don't want to use factorial, this is how you can do it. Uh, you generate a list of numbers. So you generate um, a list of numbers using a range from 1 until x plus 1. And you take the product of that uh, list. So you're multiplying all the numbers in your list. Um, so uh, let's uh, execute the cell and let's test it. So factorial of 5 is 120. Um, using inter uh, interact function. Um, we will um, explore our factorial function using um, widgets now, using interact function. Um, inter uh, to use that, just um, type interact, 
then the name of your function, uh, then add your variable in here. So x equals 0 to 100. That will generate this slider. Uh, it's an integer slider that goes from 0 to 100. And that's a factorial of 100. We can easily explore other factorial uh, numbers just by moving this um, slider in the uh, browser. Um, so we'll uh, be controlling a chart now. Uh, I will define a function in here that plots a chart. It takes x and y, it uh, creates a figure, a subplot, it plots the number, sets a title, and adds a grid, then finally shows the plot. Um, if you're not familiar with um, PyPlot or uh, Matplotlib, um, you have to check uh, f um, part number five where we discuss um, this in uh, depth. Uh, let's uh, define this function. So what we'll be um, working with um, is a function, a uh, polynomial function. Uh, I have um, um, a um, x uh, to the power 3 plus uh, bx to the power 2 plus cx plus d, where a, b, c, d are constants. So uh, this is where I'm uh, defining this uh, function, f. Um, it's um, x is um, a list of numbers between um, minus 10 until 10 with um, 20 numbers in between. Uh, then we have uh, y equals um, a to the uh, a times x to the power three plus b times x to the power two plus um, c times x plus d, which is the Python version of this function. Um, finally, I'm generating a title in LaTeX just to display the function in LaTeX uh, with um, a, b, c, d substituted in the, into the function. And finally, I'm plotting the function here. So I'll execute this um, um, function, and let's this, uh, let's uh, test this. Uh, I have a, b, c, d uh, in here, uh, values for them, and I'm calling the function f with these values, and it returns this chart. Um, this is, um, and it has the title f of x. Um, 0 0.25 to uh, times x uh, to the third power blah 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 and uh, this is the function this is the chart it returns we'll uh, link that using interact also um, with the widgets where we can control a b c and d and we're also controlling um, some other uh, styles um, things about the function so um, we have um, in here a, I can use a small negative number in here. Uh, I have a b, I can add uh, more in here. And it will show you the um, function you have in here. And it will plot it for you at the same time. So we have this now. Uh, we can um, add a little c. Um, uh, the little negative in here. Um, I can change the color of the line. I can make it a blue line. Uh, I can change the width of the line. I can make it into a dashed line if I wanted. And I can control all of that from these widgets. Uh, and I can later go and say, well, I want lower value in here, uh, lower value in here. And I can um, change the values and they will um, update the chart um, instantly. Uh, you can have access to your uh, widget um, if you store your uh, interact uh, function. Um, you can access your widgets later by uh, typing your interact uh, your interact uh, function that widget, which will display your widget again and your output. And you can go ahead and change that and get your um, results in the um, new one. It will um, it will not change your previous chart, so you ha still have access to your previous chart, and you can um, experiment with uh, something else and see how does that change um, your data, and you will be able to compare it to your previous. Um, thank you for watching. This uh, lesson is available open source on uh, GitHub and it's viewable on uh, MB Viewer. Uh, the link to this um, uh, notebook is available in the description box below. 
Um, I hope if you like this, you will subscribe to this uh, channel and watch the um, next part.